Hey, if they're over there by that dock, if you catch a fish that has half a lip, that's the one I caught. Half a lip. Or a cut in his lip, I suppose. Did you stuck in that rope? Solid. Well, you barely count, but wait, that's not even a, that's not even a bass. Shine blue. Yo. Long gee willikers. I saw he was a small bass. Yeah, like till I got him out of the water. Okay, yeah, you're stuck. All right. Yeah, I caught the one I caught like right there. Oh really? Yeah, like chuck the six sixty right here, like twitch, twitch, boom. In three feet of water. I didn't even notice. The other days, the sailboat is slightly out of uh, date on its registration. 94. <laughs> About 30 years out of date. <laughs> Looks like it might have been sitting here for that long, too. Oh, he missed. There we go. Got that one. Oh, he came off. What? There's two right there, too. Oh, I never got the, the hook, never. Hook never came out of the plastic. First top water fish of the day, or the trip. No way. What? Yes. I have a, I had a leader on it. I don't know if that's what did it. I also thought I had my drag somewhat decently set. Ay, 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 ay. So nice boats. Especially like the uh, twin 400s on the pontoon. A quarter million dollars in boats at least. Oh, but don't forget about the five sea dudes. It's a shame they don't have a nicer house to live in while they're not using their really nice boats. Because it felt like the farther we're back in here we've gone, the less fish we see. Yeah.
find some fish. on the other side of that. There we go. There is something. Oh my god. Oh my son. He was way up under that dock too. <laughs> Look at my line. <laughs> I need to retie. Might. I mean, I've caught like eight fish on that worm without ever without retying. So probably about time. Mid two, three maybe. Two five. Yeah. All right. Into the into the live well. Is that a live well. Yeah, I'll put them in there since since I did go to the trouble of filling it up with water. Show the girls. That's my word, dude. I can't believe. Yeah, how in the world did you get that? Fish there. I could Down see. Size leader too, didn't you? Yeah, it's a ten-pound leader. <laughs> That's impressive. Freaking shredded it. Yeah. Oh, do you want to know another funny thing? So when I tied it on, that knot was in it, and I tried to get it out, and then I just couldn't, so I just cinched it down, and I was like, eh. Hopefully it's fine. <laughs> so I've now caught like, I don't know, 10 fish on a line that I knew had an audit the entire time. And all this on this one hook without it, like, yeah. What are you running for a leader now? Uh, 10 pound Berkeley Vanish. Just cause that's what I have. I mean, I have quite a few different things, but I think that's the only stuff that I have that's 10 pound. I was kind of expecting that to be a small fish because he hit it like that real quick, thunk, and then nothing. Yeah, it, it's freaking swallowed it all. About the same size as yours. About the same. Oh. <laughs> Lost it. Hey, that was gonna be a perfect cast. Can we just count that? <laughs> just a quick catch and release. Yeah, that's a quick release. Whoa. Ooh, See that and come out from under that dock? Oh my god. I think we uh It was a good call. Dude, we might be able to see some like actual good eats with the water and clarity like this too. Saw the bait suspended up under the dock on the ground. Oh. Have you run that way? Okay. Calm <laughs> <laughs> <Calm> yourself. <laughs> Oh, what? A fish. A fish. Oh yeah, that's a little one. You want to let him go? Yeah. Yeah. He's a little guy. He's a little guy. Oh, why are we still moving? Hit a continuous bike. Exit. Nice. Oh, oh, Get him oh. in the boat. Whee! Oh, did you throw my worm? Ah, oh, I landed in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's the second time that's happened to you. Trying to 
Get out away from the dock. <laughs> no. Is that the fish as big as I think it is? We're gonna find out. <laughs> All right, let's not be under the boat. That one, I think it is. Decent? Yeah. He's got a second one for them. I really think it, that's what it is. Oh, no! Oh, that is a fish. That is a fish. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Dang. You want to wear that one, too? Uh, yep. Thank you. I have a whole box full. It's about two and a half. Ooh, there yeah. we go. Three. Two I twelve. I thought. Big fish of the trip because you had a two eleven, or did you have a two twelve too? It was right around there. Heck yeah. He's a big fish. What are the poundages? 212, 28, I think. Oh, wow. Well. You are a good one. It's like a brighter green, maybe lighter green. All right, did you want to take a picture? <sighs> yes, let's get a picture. Okay. Why are you so much bigger than mine? <laughs> well, you caught the big one yesterday, Josh, and Daddy caught the two small ones. Okay. Nice. All right, who wants a fish? I want I me. I want me. screen crapped out at some point over the weekend so we're on the phone right now it is what it is that was probably I've said this a few different times that was one of the most fun fishing trips uh, that I've ever had in my life it was the most productive by far uh, ended with 13 bass uh, 12 large mouth one little small mouth and Josh also caught he probably caught at least six or seven I think he missed more than I did um, I broke off one this morning. He missed several on his jig, uh, both yesterday and today. Probably had like four or five that he missed on his jig. Um, or like he would get them halfway back and then jump and throw it off. Um, that was just a super, super fun, um, productive trip. I did want to go ahead and kind of show you guys a little bit of what we did. It was a really cool way to see kind of what would work like what worked one day would not be working the next day or even different times of day so we were having to figure out what was going to work at a specific time um of day on a particular day and on a particular area of the lake so this is just the google maps of the lake and these are all my catch locations you can see basically the whole kind of north northeastern section of the lake but 
Friday afternoon when we got out there those were my first four fish first one was on a dock right there that crankbait fish but then everything else was back all the way back in this cut uh, two three four and you know every off docks but let me show you what this looks like on with a chart so these are those docks the same docks on the chart you can see how shallow those docks are like a couple of these docks and then over here is where we were catching them so basically Friday afternoon Friday afternoon I caught them back here then Saturday morning once Josh got here we started back all the way back up in this cut again pretty shallow fish off the end of that dock and then there were some laydowns uh, right on this point right here you can actually see like the trees in the water that we caught fish off of right there and then we bounced out we went down here caught more fish again kind of like in that cut back in that cut and then in the evening we went back in here and that's where fish nine and ten for me were um, this was that dock that I caught a little one right after he caught a pretty good one on and again you can see for comparison the place where I caught most of my fish were back in these super shallow areas like that was that point with the laydowns that dock way back there I was getting most of my fish in two to four feet of water probably um, which is not normally what I am targeting on that lake um, I'm also I don't think I've ever fished there this late in the year I'm normally there a couple times early or I have fished a couple times earlier in the spring but then like all throughout the summer I don't think I've ever fished Smith Mountain Lake in basically the early fall, September, um, you know, post Labor Day, which is what we are right now. And it turns out they were just all super shallow. We were not having luck out deep, really. Um, but then even this morning, we started back. Um, this is Sunday. So Sunday morning, we started back in cuts again. We're not having luck. The fish that we were finding were actually out on like the point or like the end, the edge of a cut. And the farther back in the cut we would get, we would stop seeing fish. We wouldn't get bit at all. Um, and so we pretty quickly figured out we should probably not be back in cuts. So at that point, again, we had been back in here again, and then we bounced out to this outside, the outside of this point here. We had some bites out here along this stretch and then I ended up catching one right in there. But again, like the farther, as we kept getting farther back, we went around and started going farther back in this cut, not catching anything. So we decided to actually swing out all the way over here. And this is actually Josh's idea. So the dam is right here. It's super deep on this whole side. Just for reference on this particular, on this chart, the blue where the transition from blue to white is happens in 18 feet of water so you can see kind of just generally how um like these areas up in here where we had been fishing you can see how much blue there is along the shoreline but if you zoom out and go over here you have a whole lot less blue on some of these shorelines and so his idea was to go back around here where it's we still have lots of docks but we intentionally stopped right here on this point. So we have docks adjacent to very deep water. These docks are in significantly deeper water than some of the other ones we'd fished. And we caught, I caught two really good fish off these two docks, or like two of these docks right here. That one right, that's that right there. We started right here, caught one here. Josh caught one off there and then another one of these and then I caught one right here. So it was just super cool to actually fish this lake long enough over the course of for me three different days friday saturday sunday josh just was here for saturday sunday um fish it long enough to be able to like actually develop a pattern sort of and figure out where not not just the like hey where we're fishing is not working what do we do next go to another spot that's like it but figuring out that you know hey they're not up like all the way back in a cove right now they're probably somewhere else and it worked which was really cool. Big shout out to my wife for watching the girls uh, by herself a lot more than she normally does to allow me to fish a lot more than I normally do on a, you know, family vacation like this. 
um, cause I was able to have by far the most successful, you know, weekend of fishing that I've ever had in my life. A few weeks ago, we were on a fam extended family vacation and I did some, some, a couple kayak fishing trips, which you've probably already seen. They'll be, they were, they would have been uploaded before this on the channel. Um, but catching lots of really small fish in a small river, which was super fun, but it's, it was a little different than fishing, you know, an entire lake like this where, I mean, I, I'll come to this lake, we come to this lake multiple times a year and I will catch a few fish over the course of a whole weekend. And this time I caught 13. So just super cool to be able to catch that many fish. <laughs> We actually have, uh, later in September, Josh and I are going on an actual, like, out-of-town fishing trip, like, just the two of us, to a new lake that we have never been to before. So that'll be really cool to not only figure out a new lake, a whole new body, I know it's a big lake, um, but also fishing. It's the last weekend of September. It's a time of year, again, I don't, fi I have not historically fished much this time of year. Uh, so I am looking forward to the, the challenge and hopefully the, uh, fun experience of catching lots of fish on this new lake. That's all. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you had as much fun watching me catch all these fish as I had catching all these fish. It was a super fun trip. So, uh, I will try and get my camera fixed. Otherwise we might just be using the phone for a little while until I can buy a new camera. So until then, thank you guys. Uh, drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell on, all that good YouTube stuff if you want. It's pretty cool to see how many people uh, have stuck with and subscribed to this channel over the years, even though most of them for the deck build video that I did like five years ago at this point. But it's still fun. So thank you guys. See you on the next one.